Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Super excited for this one. This is a luxury this and that video. So I'm gonna be pulling products from different brands and pulling my face together, okay? We've got a new YSL Couture Mini Clutch Eyeshadow Quad to get into. We've got a new Givenchy uh, concealer and a balm from Givenchy as well. And we have a new Guedlain Glow Powder to get into, okay? So I'm gonna be pulling a look together, of course, and I'm gonna be swatching for you guys, as well as seeing if the products live up to the claims that the brands have set for them, okay? So if you wanna see how this face came together, what this super cute thing is on my head, just keep watching and please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I appreciate it when you do. Now let's jump in. Okay guys, before we jump in, of course I have to talk about my Breezy Tea product of the day. I am rocking our navy boho head wrap just because I thought it would match my outfit today. But when I tell you guys I'm in these all the time, I genuinely mean it. I've always been an accessory person. That's always been my favorite part of fashion growing up. I always thought clothes can be pretty basic, but your accessories will, you know, could be the thing that are the things that really make them sing for me. I like a more simple uh clothing situation uh, and then let your accessories do the job. So I've always been into accessories. So I mean it when I say I'm always wearing my 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 boho head wraps. I really do love them. Uh, long piece of stretchy fabric. Fashion them into any style you want. Dress them up, dress them down. They're great for any occasion. And they come in over 20 colors, so they'll definitely be something there for everyone, okay? If you wanna check out any of our boho head wraps, you can visit us at breezytea.com or our Etsy shop, links will be in the description below. Okay guys, so this is a luxury this and that video and that just means that I'm gonna be bringing products from different brands together to pull a look together. And it's sometimes, a lot of times it's when I can't, I can't make a full video with just a couple of products from one brand. So I'm like, let me see what I can mix and match. And this is one of those videos. So we've got some interesting stuff today. We've got a new YSL product. Love this packaging. This is one of their new Couture Mini Clutches, and this one's in 600. Now, I grabbed two of them, but I'm splitting the videos up because um, I just wanted to focus on one per video, okay? So we'll get into this in a second. I also grabbed this new Terracotta Flower Blossom Healthy Glow Powder from Get Along. Now, listen, some of the beads and stuff were more golden, but uh, we'll talk about that when we, we get this on in a second. We've got this beautiful balm from Givenchy. We're gonna end with, and we're going to start with this new Givenchy concealer. Okay, so let's jump in with this concealer. Now, I've explained it to you guys before. I'm 45 years old and uh, concealer is my best friend. You can see now, I actually feel tired uh, right now, but I also feel like I look tired because my under eyes are not giving what a concealer, what I use a concealer to give. And so um, uh, I'm expecting things from this concealer. So I'm always on the lookout for a new one, right? And so this one popped up. Everything I got today, I'm, I'm show, um, showing you today, I actually got it a pretty decent uh, discount too. I mentioned how great the discounts have been. I think this concealer, I got it 30% off, um, uh, feel unique. 30% off, I, I got this concealer. So let's see what they're saying before I try this on because I'm really excited. So this is a revolutionary concealer. This is the first, big claim, the first 24 hour wear three multi-purpose concealer of its kind in the Givenchy portfolio. The first of its kind in the Givenchy portfolio, okay. Made with 95% natural origin ingredients, not only does it conceal, correct, and unify, it also illuminates and provides 24 hour hydration and radiance, okay? With targeted use, it will correct and cover, blur dark circles, imperfections, and irregularities. So those are some of the things we're going to be looking for as I try this on. I got, this is the color, N335. This is, um, here it is, swatched on me. I typically go for one that brightens, conceals and brightens. I like a brightener. So that's the one I went with. And here's the wand. We've got a big old wand here, guys. It's a pretty big wand. So I'm going to just tap it in and then apply as needed because I know I've been here before. I put too much and then it's taking me forever to pull that concealer back. So let's get this on.
you know what a triumph it is when you choose a concealer color <laughs> online, right? It, it, I'm, I'm pretty good. My, my record is pretty good, but you still never know. This perfect, this color is perfect for me. This is a perfect cut shade to do what I wanted to do. It is concealing. First of all, lifted me up immediately. I look more awake. It's brightening, but it's also concealing. So I'm really, really happy with this off the bat. I see the immediate difference in my face and that's, I don't wanna work for any products, right? So this one I am super excited about, okay? Really, really nice and yeah, I'm happy about it. It does look, it looks hydrated. It does look good, but the other claim I'm going to need to see. So let it, let's let it sit for the duration of this video and I will let you know if um, I notice anything. When I get a new concealer, it's the concealer I start to use all the time. So I've been using Natasha Denona nonstop, so now uh, Givenchy will pick up and I'll be using this. So you'll be able to see if I notice anything different in the next video, I will let you guys know because I'm going to be using now the Givenchy one. So let's dig into this Get Along product, okay? This is, again, this is the Terracotta Flower Blossom Healthy Glow Powder. And I'm not gonna lie, I did buy it because I was on the fence. Like, I was on the fence. I was looking for pictures and swatches. Uh, this is the number three bronzer. And the number three bronzer is pretty much my skin tone, right? It looked beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. I wanted it because it looked beautiful. But I was like, the number three bronzer is literally gonna be my skin tone and it's gonna be lost. What took me over the edge and made me get it was not only the discount, but I saw on their site, I believe, it said, will fit all skin tones. So then I went, okay. So let me not think of it as a bronzer and think of it more as an all over powder that's gonna give me a little bit of glow. And um, there is, there are like gold specks throughout the whole thing. The bee and the flower, there were some more gold sparks uh, parts, but as soon as you take your brush to it, those will be gone. But you'll be left with specks around the whole thing. So it should give you a nice uh, glow all over, which we're gonna test. But I will test it now as a, a bronzer. At the end, I'll do it as an all over powder, but I'll test it as a bronzer. And of course, as you're getting it, you're gonna get a little bit pink, you're gonna get the different colors, but let's let's see. Let's see it as a bronzer. I don't have too much hope as a bronzer, because like I said, I know, I'll swatch it for you in a second. I know that these colors, you can see it on here. It might be showing up, maybe showing up a little better than I thought it would. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's, it's showing up a different color than my than I my foundation shade is, that's for sure. Uh, so maybe this, maybe I lucked out. Perhaps I lucked out, guys. And this is on the cusp, though. And this is going to be a very light uh, bronzer situation for me. I was, I was prepared to put on another bronzer. I was like, ah, we'll try it, but I have no hope. It has the typical Get Lawn scent on the products. So if you're sensitive uh, about scents, just know that. It's one that doesn't bother me. I'm used to it. It has to be a really, really over the top scent for me to La Mer. That's the only, the only thing that comes to mind. I could not take the scent. A La Mer makeup product. And that's probably why I only have one La Mer makeup product that I do not use. Um, so yeah. Okay. It did what I wanted to, but do you see that there's a slight glow? So in the end, I'm going to take this over my face. So what I thought about when I thought uh, of it as an all over glow, like it's gonna be like the Meteor Heat, which I haven't seen them come out. Have they come out with any in the last like year and a half? Uh, I, I don't remember Guerlain coming out with new Meteor Heat, the balls. So I, I said I was gonna treat this like those as an all over powder. And so it's giving the face a nice glow and again at the end I will take a brush and just put it all over my face. And the packaging so far is two for two. Guerlain, I love this inlay. I just think it's the best design. So cool, very, very cool. Um, and the Givenchy always looks chic. Givenchy is not a, a brand that I have a lot of, but what I do have, I do love. And this is just chic. I just think their packaging is chic. I think they have nice, really nice, clean, 
packaging. So now let's jump into this uh, YSL Couture Mini Clutch. I, these eyeshadows, uh, 600, okay? This is 600. These have been out for a while over here and I had decidedly said no. I was like, I'm not gonna do it. When I have, I have one um, YSL, the larger palette and I wasn't, it's good, but it's not my favorite. So I was like, eh, <laughs> Love the idea of the smaller quads, love the packaging, super chic, the clutch packaging, super chic. So it looked really good, but I was like, eh. So I watched it, I just didn't get it. They've been here and I was like, mm, eh. And then, I don't know if you're following Chic Profile over on Instagram, but she has a, a great page. She lets us know when things are coming out and all that stuff. So Tavia got them and showed, and she's been singing their praises like crazy, like crazy. So I was like, okay, she finally convinced me, as did finding them on sale. So I was like, well, let me try them out. Let me see what they're doing. She keeps stressing that they're pigments. They're say, they say they're pigments and not eyeshadow. So she keeps going on about the color payoff. So that is what I'm looking for from one person that I know has used it, is the color payoff. They have about eight, I think, and they, they have different color stories. I'm gonna go with the color stories that make me, that are easy for me. So the most wearable, easy. None of them were so over the top. None of the colors looked like, oh, I've never seen this before. And this one potentially could be light, but it looks easy and that's why I went for it. So this is 600 and let me swatch this for you guys and then let's get them on the eyes and test them out. So here are the colors. Okay, very, very pretty. They are, they're light and they're, they're light, well, they don't seem, one color seems very light. So you don't know what kind of pigmentation you'll get. There's actually a lot of pigmentation coming up in these swatches. I really like that this shimmer is like a powdery, can I say like a powdery, creamy thing? It's not like a cream to powder, but it's, it, it may be. I don't know how to describe the texture, but I like that the, the little finely milled sparkles are not all over the place. They're sticking to the shadow. They're not glitter all over the place. That's my first impression. And they're incredibly soft. As Soon as I went to swatch, I was like, wow, these feel really, really soft. They feel different to the ones in the larger uh, palette uh, from YSL. And it just feels really nice. I really like how these feel. So I'm excited to uh, get them on. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. This one is super light, so I'm like, Let's see what I do with that shade, but I'm excited to try. I like trying out new shadows, new formulas. Let's see what, what, what YSL is hitting for. Let's go.
Okay, before I give you my thoughts, and I've got some thoughts, and we're gonna talk about the colors and what YSL is saying about these, I have to give you a couple of reminders. First, that everything that I'm wearing on my face will always be in the description below. Things I feature and things I don't feature, so if you're wondering about a foundation or some sort of shade number, it'll always be in the description below. There'll be some affiliate links, so if you are going to buy it anyway and you wanna use one of my affiliate links, I appreciate it. I will put that money back into doing videos for you guys. So I wanted to say that. I forgot to show you the swatches with the palette, the quads uh, uh, together. They're actually pretty faithful. Sometimes they do not look how they look. Sometimes that could be a good thing. Sometimes that could be a not so good thing, okay? But I wanted to remind you that I will always have swatches on my Instagram page a couple of days after video goes live here on uh, YouTube. So follow me on Instagram so you can get a closer look. I do them in sunlight, I do videos, and I do photos. And you'll get a closer look at the swatches. You can gauge it for your uh, skin tone. So don't forget, follow me on Instagram. Before I give you my thoughts, Let's see what YSL is saying and if they lived up to this, okay? It's an ultra luxe four color palette that thanks to intense pigments offer all day wear and comfort. These new palettes with a matte shimmer and satin finish are inspired by the comforting roses of the Kajba of Marrakesh, the spicy colors of the Souks, and the soothing tones of the Couture's Parisian workshop, okay? So they are calling them very intense pigments, all right? And I have to say, the color payoff was much better than I anticipated. I think these are beautiful. This color palette, 600, this is like, how do I describe it? Pinky peach almost. There's, there's an orangey brown thing going on here. So this light color here is actually a really, really pale, 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 like peach, okay? This one is like a rosy orange color. This one we get more orange brown and then this one is more goldy beige, okay? This has a shift. The shimmer one has a shift to it, almost like a rosy a rosy uh, orange shift to it. So very, very pretty. I completely get the reference to uh, the Kajba and Marrakesh. These are those colors that remind me, earth tones, that remind me of, of Marrakesh and so I think they nailed it. I think this is really, really pretty. I was worried about this one on my eyes. I said, eh, it wears, it looks a little light. Is this going to, is this going to show up on me in a way that I think is flattering? And it does. It does. It really, really does. I think this is very, very pretty and uh, I like it. I like it and easy because we can just carry it in our hands. Speaking of, I wanted you to see the large one compared to this one, okay? So in terms of size, this is what you're getting. I guess it would sit here. Maybe one third uh, uh, <laughs> of the, the other palette. But four is more than enough. Four gets you in, it gets you out. And I'm gonna play around with this and change where I put the colors and see, but very, very happy with this, uh, this clutch. And I think this is a much better formula to this large palette. And I think the colors are going to be wearable and very, very nice and easy, again, easy to transport, take with you, do what you need to do. And you've even got some options with these four colors, okay? You've got different textures and you can play around with where you wanna place these pigments. I wanted to show you the other one that I have that I will be featuring in a few days, okay? So this one has more pigment uh, visually, okay? And this is the one I just did. So this is what we have to look forward to, and I'll be doing that soon. So I just put on one of the new um, Hermes blushes that I just featured in my last video. Check that out if you wanna see um, the new Hermes summer collection or the summer releases. I wouldn't say it's a collection, the summer releases. Let's revisit this Guerlain uh, powder that I'm going to be using as a uh, finishing powder, all over powder. But I'm curious if I can target the glow and see if I can get it here as almost like a highlight. I'm just curious, so I'm gonna check that out here. Because I feel like with this bit of shimmer, it should give an interesting situation here. What's interesting about it for me is that the color is so close to my skin tone that it really is, the color is melting in and then it's just leaving the bit of glow, which I really, really like. 
I didn't even go back in with another a bronzer. I'm letting it stand as it is as a bronzer. Interesting. Interessante. Interessante. This one is. Am I seeing it? Is it in my head? No, I'm seeing it. We've got the glow. It's super duper subtle. But I'm liking it. Okay. Now let's go in with it all over the face. Need a fluffy brush for this one, okay? We just want it all over the face. This is just how I'm going to use it. A nice finishing powder that brings everything together. And then we will get into, you can see it on the, we will get into the uh, balm. <laughs> and this is why they said it would suit everyone because it'll give you a nice little even, a nice, like a even, easy, pull together, glowy finish. And there we are. I'm going to be using this one for sure. I like using it like this. And I guess for some, it maybe it's a little more practical than like the, the balls. So we've got it all super subtle on me. Done, let's get to this lip. Okay, so let's finish with this Le Rouge Interdit Balm 10, okay? Love, I will always love the Givenchy packaging. I think it's super chic. It's absolutely one of my favorite lipstick packaging. I think they lived up to the luxurious uh, standards. I think it looks really, really luxe, right? And did you see this beautiful? Oh, it, now they have this in white or this black color. Have you guys seen this? This design on this? So, so pretty. So, so pretty. Now, this is one of those products. Of course, the black color. It's going to draw you in, right? But it's one of those products that will, the chemistry of your lips will yield a color. And I'm shocked at what it just swatched as. Completely shocked. Was not expecting this much color to come from here. So it'll be interesting on my lips. Let's see what I can get from this one on my lips. Excited, because this is a color that I really, really am digging on my swatch tan. whole thing and the powder the get on powder just gave a nice little zhuzhing to the entire face it just looks really put together and I'm really really enjoying that but let's get into these lips because I did not expect to get this much color payoff loving it love 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 this shade on me such a pretty balm okay so it's giving Bordeaux you know what I'm saying? A little wine, little 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 wine just kind of dabbed on the lip, left on the lips after I had some. It's giving that. It's it's giving it's giving me that. Like a little grape stain. Loving this. This is so pretty. Did not expect it. So this exceeded my expectations. It feels really good. There's a really nice uh glow to it. So a nice amount of glow, nothing too over the top, and it just feels really nice. I'm so curious if you got this or uh, it, what color that you get when you, you wear it. Beautiful, and it somehow matched the rest of the look. Perfect, perfect ending. Beautiful balm, has some good stuff in there, and feels, mm, just feels good. Again, this is number 10. This is the Le Rouge Interit Balm 10, okay? And that's it. Okay, so this was a exceeded expectations video. This YSL Couture Clutch is really, I really am really, really uh, impressed with the color payoff. I'm gonna leave this on uh, for some time now and then in the next video, I'll be able to report back what it looked like um, hours and hours later. I'm just really excited to see uh, how, how it wears, just how it wears and how it lasts because the color is really, really nice. It's really nice um, out from in front of these lights. I went to more natural light and looked, did the husband check, did all that, and we both agree, very, very pretty. So really happy with this first one. This was the one that I was 
most worried about. So I'm excited to try the second one as well. The Givenchy um, concealer is doing a really, really nice job. Again, I'll be wearing it over the next foreseeable days and then I will let you guys know if anything changed. But I really like how it was an instant pick me up. It's brightening me well and it's concealing. So I actually picked the perfect shade for me. So hopefully in the comment, like I said, description, you can see the shade number again and maybe that'll help gauge for yourself. Um, this is, this is everything, okay? And then that Guerlain powder, very, very pretty, but also did a really nice job like smoothing and blurring and it just looks really put together the face and it warmed me up a slight bit, guys. And now it's over to you. Let me know what you think of these products. Did you get any of these things? Are you interested in any of these things? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I appreciate it when you do. And if you wanna check out any of our boho head wraps, any of our t-shirt hair towel wraps, sandline beanies, sandline nip beanies, our boho headbands, scrunchies, and more, just visit us at breezytea.com. For any of our luxury lifestyle accessories, you can visit us at fraybybreezytea.com. I will check you guys in the next video. Ciao for now, bye.